Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me for another video. I am really excited today because we've got a huge H&M Autumn haul. Let me just show you the box. I mean, it's so big, it's come in a box and I've literally never received a H&M order, <laughs> order in a box. So this is one mammoth of a haul and you can bet that I've got some absolute goodies honestly I'm so happy I cannot wait to just get all this knitwear all these coats on and show you what they look like so if you want to see what I got then please keep watching and of course subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up because it would really mean a lot so let's just stop chit chatting because I want to get this fluffy cozy knitwear on my body even though it is really warm today and I'm already sweating a little um but it's fine i will power through and try it on so make sure you keep watching this is the first jumper and i absolutely love it i think this one's 24.99 if i'm reading the slip correctly and it's got this lovely sort of like split here and the back is ever so slightly longer than the front as you can see and the sleeves are just kind of straight they don't cinch in so it's that nice oversized sort of fit and then it's just a high neck, but not too high where I feel like it suffocates you. Just the sort of perfect um, height, really. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Um, in terms of the quality, like it's a nice quality. It's thick, but it's not super duper thick. So you probably couldn't go out of this in sort of midwinter and still be warm. You would need a coat. But I do actually really like it. I love the colour. It's definitely a thumbs up from me for the first item. Of course, let me know what you think. It's everything I try on in the comments below. So the next item is very similar to the last one. I got it out of the box. I was like, have I ordered two of the same? Um, but it is a more sort of grey tone opposed to the previous jumper. This is what it looks like. It has got a double roll neck. I think this one was about $24.99. But instead of guessing prices, I'll just link it below for you. Um, so we have to shop all the items if they're still in stock. Again, this one is slightly more of like a baggier fit and it doesn't have these slits here at the side. I think I prefer the last one to this one. I think it just has a little more shape. Um, but I do still like this one. In terms of quality, it's pretty much the same as the other one. I think it's the same material. Um, but yeah, I do really like it. It's just a very simple, easy knit to just chuck on that's going to keep you warm. And I really do love a roll neck in the winter. It's honestly it's such a staple for me. Um, and it's just so cosy and warm. So yes, this is what this one is. Slightly more sort of like a bat wing, I would say. It's um, not as like fitted. And again, I got this in a small. And I do find with H&M that the knitwear is all quite oversized. So I do tend to stick true to size. Because I don't want it to sort of drown me. But this is what it looks like at the back. It's sort of long enough at two cover the bum. So ideal if you're just going out in like leggings or something. That maybe are a little bit see-through. And rest assured, it does cover that region. So the next knitwear piece is probably my favourite one so far. And I knew I was going to love this because I actually own it in a deeper brown colour that I picked up last year. And honestly, the knit on this is so beautiful. And this is 19 dollars can we just 20 pounds for a jumper that is this beautiful I really love it it's shorter than the previous two jumpers and um, this one is high neck but it doesn't like I haven't rolled it over of course you could but I would probably just leave it like this and I really love it it's really thick it's not itchy at all it's really soft and I do just really like it. It's sort of like baggy here at the bottom, so it's not tight. I'm a bit bloated because I have to stick lunch. Um, I put my jeans on. I was like, oh, this is so uncomfortable. Um, but I thought I can't be a slob and do it in my pajamas. Um, but yeah, I do really like this one. You could even sort of like tuck it into your jeans if you are wearing high waisted jeans. But I knew I was gonna love this, and I do. The colour is so beautiful, and I think for twenty pounds. Like, you really cannot go wrong. I've also got three coats, which is a bit excessive, you could say. But I'm just going to try them on with this jumper. Because in the winter, you obviously wear jumpers under your coats. So we need to see how they fit and what they look like. So this is the first coat. This was only 34 99 
I got it in a size 8, it is a little bit tight on my arms up here because I'm wearing the jumper which is super thick. Um, maybe with just like a thin roll neck jumper it wouldn't be as tight but I probably should maybe size up to a 10 in this one. Um, but it's this lovely sort of soft material you can see in the camera there it's really nice. It's not like too thick for a coat so this would be good maybe with just like a sort of casual top or a bodysuit on underneath just going out. It does have pockets which is plus because I hate it when you get a coat and the pockets are stitched up and you're like what the hell this is a stitch up you know and it does have these little pop up buttons here just to pop up for that little bit of extra a lot and that little bit of extra warmth and then this is just what it looks like it's a nice sort of um below the knee coat and i do really like it the quality is really nice and for 35 pounds I mean, can you really complain? I'd probably wear it undone. I don't really tend to do a lot of my coats up unless I'm absolutely freezing. Um, and inside, it's not lined at all, but that doesn't really bother me. You can just sort of see it there. Um, I mean, it would be nice if it had a nice sort of like big silk lining. Um, but then I guess it probably would be a bit more expensive. Um, but then nevertheless, I do really like it. And I think it's absolutely amazing for the price and it looks really nice and expensive. So yeah, this is the first coat. I'm super excited for the next one. I really hope I love it. Please, please, please. So this is the next coat and it did not, di well it does not disappoint at all. This one was also $34.99. I just want to say I feel like H&M are like absolutely killing it with the quality items at such affordable prices. But if I come in and show you, it's this beautiful pink trench coat. Now I've been looking for a pink, I can't speak, I'm so excited. I've been looking for a pink trench coat for what feels like my whole life basically. And I wanted a really nice baby pink one. This isn't quite the color I wanted, but I thought for that price, I'm just gonna have to order it and see. And it's honestly such a beautiful coat. And it comes with this lovely strap as well. The buttons are like a light sort of tortoiseshell color. I did size up to a 10 in this because I thought trench coats are normally a bit more fitted. Um, and structured and if I'm wearing a thick jumper I would definitely need the extra room. I'm also going to try it on like a thinner jumper as well just to see what it looks like because I'm not always going to wear a super thick jumper outside. But yeah this is just so so beautiful. It does have a sort of slit here at the back but it is stitched up. I would probably undo that because I quite like it when coats have a little slit in and it just has these beautiful buttons and honestly I love it and of course you can also do it up here with a little tie let's do it just so I can show you really sort of cinch it in I do feel like though so I'm just looking in the mirror because I got it in a 10 there is a sort of like there is a lot of um I'm not going to do it properly I'm just sort of going to do this so you can see there is a lot of excess material but I do just feel like an 8 might have been a bit too small but maybe I'll also order an 8 as well just to see what it's like but I really do love it and again the pockets are not stitched oh thank you H&M I mean honestly that's just like my pet peeve when they stitch the bloody pockets obviously everyone wants pockets in a coat that's like the whole point of a coat basically um, and this one is actually lined inside with this, I don't know what this is, like a sort of chiffony material, but it's really lovely. Of course, it's not the thickest coat, but trench coats normally are not. Um, it's more for sort of style, but I really love this one. I just think it's so pretty. Of course, let me know what you think. But yeah, for the bargain price of £35, how could you say no to such a beautiful item? So I realised that this item is actually a blazer, not a coat, so I just put my normal top back on. This is from Zara, the t-shirt, obviously not this. Um, so it's this beautiful cream blazer and oh my god, these buttons, they're like these gold pearl buttons, I absolutely love them. I got this in a size 10 because normally blazers are slightly overfitted, the pockets are stitched. Um, I mean, we won't talk about that, um, but yeah, I really love this. I don't actually own any blazers. This was 34 dollars I don't know if I said that. 
honestly it's so nice and the quality is absolutely unbelievable it fits so well I'm really happy with the size that I got this is what it looks like at the back I just think it looks really expensive and I honestly love the buttons I feel like that detail is just so beautiful and of course you can also do it up as well I probably wouldn't do it up unless I was freezing and needed to I probably just keep it undone but this is what it looks like I think it's so beautiful if you're quite sure maybe you could wear this as a dress I mean I'm five foot five maybe I could wear this as a dress actually that might be quite cute um, but anyway, I really love this blazer. The quality is amazing. I don't know if I said it, but I don't actually own any blazers. And I just feel like this is such a staple. It would look so nice with a roll neck, or I mean, what I'm wearing now, some nice heels. Or you could even pair it with some trainers to go shopping. And it's not as thick as a coat. Um, but it's just still going to keep you warm on those days where you do need some extra layers. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I just think it's so beautiful. And it looks really expensive and chic. And um, we're all about looking chic and expensive. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. I think it's probably my favourite item that I have tried on so far. I also got some jeans as well. I actually try them on next for you they are just a pair of like black or sort of grey jeans so it's probably not going to look overly different to what I'm wearing these other jeans they're more sort of like a grey wash but I don't know how they're going to show up on camera they are just these skinny high waist jeans in a size 8 and they fit absolutely perfect this is sort of how high waisted they are so you can see just a nice sort of high waisted jean in this lovely sort of like grey denim wash I really like this colour and I don't actually have any grey jeans and I just thought they'd be really nice if I go back so you can sort of see what they look like at the ankles as well. Um, but yeah, I don't actually have any jeans this colour and I just thought they'd be really nice with maybe like some cream boots and a cream knit and a nice bag and just comfy. They're nice sort of thick material and these are only £17.99. But I think that's such an amazing price for a pair of jeans and I really do like them. And they're quite comfy as well, like they're not too uncomfortable and they're not too unflattering on the bum, which is always a plus. Um, but yeah, I really do like these. So far, there hasn't been anything that I'm unimpressed with and we still have two more items to go. So let's just get the next one on because I just can't wait. I thought I'd go for something a little bit out of my comfort zone and it is this silk shirt. I'm not really one for shirts and this is actually quite long. I thought it'd be a lot shorter when I looked at it online. But the colour is what drew me in. It's just this beautiful champagne colour with a nice v-neck here. And it's so nice and soft and silky and shiny. And I do really like it, but I just feel like I would never ever wear it. Um, I mean, you could sort of tuck it into the jeans at the front, obviously, just to make it a little bit shorter. And I do feel like that is quite cute. Like, I do like it, but I just feel like I would never wear it. Which is a shame, because it's such a beautiful piece that does deserve to be worn. But it was the colour. I mean, it's just everything. And, yeah, I just think it goes with so many items. The quality is really, really nice. I do actually quite like the sleeves as well. They've got a little button. It's just the little details that really do draw you in. It does have a bit of thread here, but that's fine. It's not sort of tugging or anything. Um, but yeah, I do really like it, but I just don't know if I'll be keeping it because I just don't think I would get the wear out of it. And I think this was only £20, of course I'll leave it below, but I think it's such a beautiful item for an affordable price and a perfect for this season that we're going into. This is the last item, and again, that's something a little bit different for me. It is this really cute sort of shirt style dress. Everything in this haul has basically been the same colour, so sorry about that. Um, it just has this tie-up detail here and buttons down the front. I really like this. And this could even be worn sort of in the spring months, so it doesn't just have to be for winter. The only thing I would say though is where I've done it up around my waist, it creates like this little dip here. I don't know if you're going to be, yeah you can, it just creates that dip and it just doesn't flatten out and I think the reason is because this tie here doesn't go all the way around so at the back of the dress it's just a detail that's stitched on if that makes sense um, and I think that's why it does it. I mean I could potentially do it up a bit looser but we want to look snatched. 
so that's not really an option. And I mean, even if I do it looser, it still sort of does that little dip. But I guess if you had a coat on or you were sat down, you wouldn't really see that. And I just thought this would be really nice. It pairs with a nice coat. Um, some little ankle boots and I thought that's such a cute sort of outfit and it's not normally something that I would go I'm more sort of casual but jeans and a jumper but I just thought this would be a really nice change it fits beautifully I really do sort of like it on the top half especially the arms you know they're not too long they're the perfect length it could do with an iron um but you know that's not really a big deal and yeah I just absolutely love it and I think this was about 19.99 as well um and I really really like it and the quality is nice I'm wearing dark underwear and I don't believe it's see-through um, but when I come back and edit, that could be different. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really beautiful, really nice quality as well. And it doesn't feel itchy on my body at all. It's really, really cute. So that actually brings us to the end of this H&M video. I'm honestly so happy with everything I've ordered. It's going to be such a hard decision to decide what I want to keep and send back. But yeah, I've loved everything. The quality has been amazing. The price is amazing. I absolutely love H&M, especially in the autumn fashion, um, like autumn winter fashion. That's when they really thrive and they bring out some amazing pieces. So I really would recommend checking them out. And if you liked the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really means a lot. And I will see you on my next video. Bye. Also, let me know what you think in the comments below to everything I tried on. Bye.